good good day <laughs> hi <laughs> um i wanted to have a more creative background behind me but this is my um board where it's not really a board it's the door and it's some of the goals that i want to achieve um and or some of the things that i wanted to, yeah, goals i want to achieve um and um on this wall as well behind me it's I'm supposed to be breaking down my tasks and this is mainly um, to do with blogging and then I've got a whiteboard here with um, ideas that come up and I haven't got like a pencil or a, not pencil I haven't got I haven't got a pad or whatever um, to be able to write it down um, really quickly so what I do is I put it on there um, and then I will transfer it that green um, a three sheet has got the months of the year and specific things that are happening that I want to submit my work to so it's a reminder and um, it's one of the tasks that I've got to break down I didn't actually wasn't I hadn't planned to show you my organizational um, methods anyway but I've got another folder that um, I had loads of things on a um, on different bits of paper or in you know um, different writing pads and um, I was feeling kind of stuck because there's so many things that I want to do and um, you know obviously following the you know smart rules um, what I decided and what works for me because I've done it before is if I what I did was I just took out everything from the pads that I'd written out different ideas different projects that I wanted to work on and I put them all so everything was you know um, it was a it's a file where is it now that's <laughs> crazy huh it's here somewhere I can't believe it but um it's here somewhere so basically Hold on, is it here on the table? It's a forty pocket, um, forty pocket see-through file. So basically, there's more than forty different projects that I want to work on. So um, I've put them each in their own individual file, and um, what I'm then going to do is go through each one and decide what needs to be done. There's no point saying, "Oh, I really want to do this, 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 and this." and um it's fucking me now i know it's somewhere because i um well it has to be somewhere anyway because i need to work on them ah it was under a painting so it's a display book <laughs> might have to cut that cut that out anyway so it's a an a4 display book and so i've got all the different things that I want to work on, some of the things that I'm going to be um, contributing to. Um, yeah, so I've just put them all in here in their own individual pocket and then I'm going to be going through them. Some of them are things like videos that I want to work on. Um, and so that was that, but that's not what I came to talk to you about. What I came to talk to you about was um, a word I decided to let go of this year or this month I've just decided to let go of it I was watching a it was a YouTube video and this always happens to me where um, I stumble across a video it's a lady giving a TED talk I don't know her name um, and this has happened yeah more than once anyway and um, she started talking, she started talking about the words that we hold on to and the negative words that we hold on to and what if we decided to let those words go. And, and so I was thinking, oh, <clears throat> so what is the word that I hold on to? And I, I felt within myself that it was insecure, the word insecure, insecurity. Um, and, and it's something that when I think about it, I feel that um, I often use that as an excuse for why I didn't do something um, and it's just a blanket excuse oh I was feeling insecure about that oh, I was feeling insecure about myself so I didn't 
you know, share my work or talk about what I do or, you know, encourage somebody. And that word insecure comes a lot, comes out a lot, not necessarily um, verbally, but in my mind, I think it, oh, I was feeling insecure about that. So, you know, um, maybe that's something I need to think about. But what if that word wasn't in my vocabulary? If I didn't use that to explain away why I didn't do something, what would I do? So I've been listening to a lot of um, motivational tapes and encouraging, you know, people who've been there, done it, brought the t-shirt and, you know, are still grinding, I was going to say, but <laughs> that's not grinding anyway are still working on it working on themselves and realize it's not you never there is no destination well you're not working to reach that final destination you there are different points along your life and this is my belief anyway there's different points along your life where you achieve certain things so whilst you might have you know I went to university and got my degree but that wasn't the final destination I'm still learning so if you get what I mean, you know, as an artist, I'm never going to, right, I've arrived. I, you know, I've learned, you know, these particular tools, but there's always new tools coming on the market. There's always new techniques. There's always new insights, new things I want to say and or express with my art. So you never just arrive. And, and it's that journey. For me, it's that journey. So, um, yeah, I thought to myself, you know, what if, I didn't use that word and how would you feel then and it was really weird that you know when I <laughs> I just said to myself okay right the word insecure or insecurity is now removed from my vocabulary I'm not going to use it to explain a way why I didn't use why I didn't do something and then it's like, well, if you're not insecure, then what are you? You're just going to do it. You know, if you if you wanted to if you want to talk about your work, say online, do a video talking about what you're doing, rather than say, oh, I'm feeling insecure about that, so I don't think I I don't think I will do it right now. You just go ahead and do it. You just press play and talk. And that's what I decided to do today. So to kick off my, um, and I'm sure other people, you know, I'm sure there are other people. That's just one word I decided to get rid of in my vocabulary that I wasn't going to use to explain away. The other word, the word that I decided, one of the words, and I would have shared that in another video, but one of the words that I decided I would add to my my. Um, vocabulary relating to me is committed I'm committed to me so if I say I'm going to do something I'm going to do it if there are reasons why I can't I will address these and it's not because I was feeling fearful because there's another word there I'm not going to replace insecurity with fearful but why are you feeling fearful you know are you judging yourself um, and then comparing yourself with others and saying, oh no, I'm not good enough. Are you doubting your ability? So then you can really have more of a dialogue rather than just use blanket words like I'm feeling fearful, I'm insecure, I've got insecurities or whatever. You can actually address them and get rid of them, get on with them, sort them out, shake yourself up. Anyway, so I don't wanna kind of go on, but you saw, you've seen my setup. I, mean, I need to do a studio tour and um, show you, show you where I'm inspired and show you where I get creative and get down to it. And um, I'm not hiding behind all of this stuff, but I find I work well in an ordered, but I would say chaotic environment. Not chaotic because I don't like chaos, but um, it doesn't all have to be neat but I need structure yeah so I like structure within my working environment anyway so let me know what you think are you gonna let go of a word what's your organizational style like so comments leave your comments leave something even if it's just a heart see you soon